morning and welcome to this week's vlog. If you are new here, my name is Christina. I make videos about books, yarn projects, and I make vlogs. Yeah. Today I think we're doing a day in the life. It is now 8.25 a.m. We've been up for... Yeah. She's very curious about the camera. <laughs> yes. Oop, oh, let go, let go. We've been up for a couple of hours already. Uh, someone w woke up early. She usually doesn't get up until like 7.30, uh, but she woke up oop, at around 6.30 today. So, early riser. I was going to have a regular like pregnancy checkup with my midwife today, but... Um, the babysitter that I was gonna use uh, couldn't babysit today, so we're gonna push that appointment until next week. And um, I think we're just gonna stay at home today. No, there's a lot of buttons on the camera and she wants to push up all of them. Careful. <laughs> she had, had a bath last night, so that's why her hair is all a crazy scientist right now. Mm. She's walking around with my Lush order that arrived this morning. I'm just trying to kind of order the things that I feel like I want to have in the house um, postpartum. So I ordered my uh, favorite like face and body scrub, which is this one. It's a cup of coffee. It has like coffee grains, smells like coffee. Um, it's just delicious. Another favorite of mine is this charcoal face soap. Um, it smells like charcoal, but I like it. Um, it's also covered in drool right now because Noel tried to eat it. The weather is really nice. Hopefully we can uh, uh, get out and go for a walk later today. Noel. <laughs> But yeah, I'm just trying to order and stock up on everything that I need for um, my time at the hospital and for uh, the weeks after because I really don't want to think about that um, when this baby arrives because I know it's going to be busy enough anyways. <laughs> yeah, we've been doing some uh, changes to our living room. I'm going to show you a little bit more of that later. Uh, but you do see this beautiful little dresser that... Um, we now have placed under our TV. We had like a big, massive black um, old dresser underneath of the TV before, and I just didn't like it. It was taking up so much space, and I just wanted more, more air, more space. And the colors we are going for in our living room are more brown, yellow, green, and red. So I found this dresser second hand for quite cheap um, and I love it. Leander hates it but I love it. <laughs> to me I think it looks like something that could have been like right out of Beauty and the Beast. I just love it. This is not supposed to be up here. I'm just having it here until we've um, sorted like the, the cord situation. <laughs> you are so silly. Yeah, so we're just gonna um, enjoy our time at home, um, try to tidy and clean up. Um, I have a video tutorial that I need to film later today. Uh, but other than that, we're just gonna enjoy ourselves and hopefully get some time outside in the sun as well.
go. Freshened up a little bit. Uh, Noelle is down for her nap. Let me show you. We got a new dining table, new chairs, uh, and a new lamp. We still need to attach the wire uh, to the ceiling, but it's looking pretty good. Uh, I like that we now, even though we've we've lived here for almost a year, but it feels like now is the time that it turns into our home because now we've had the time to kind of settle in and find out what it is of a style that we want and what kind of furniture we want so yeah i'm excited uh, our house is a mess there are toys and just stuff everywhere as usual life with the toddler um so I need to start filming a crochet tutorial. Whoa, that's right. So, I think I'm gonna get on that. I'm gonna make myself a coffee, and then I'm gonna start filming that. I also need to, to clean up the kitchen. So I'm not sure if I should just clean the kitchen now. I'm procrastinating, I know. <laughs> Now, let's clean the kitchen first. Let's do it. Let's let's just get it out of the way so I don't have to think about it anymore. By the way, really cool. I got this. This is my box for my Lush order. And these things right here, which used to be plastic, but these that Lush send out, they're made from cornstarch and vegetable oil. They're compostable or you can just throw them in your sink and add hot water and they dissolve. We might just have to try that. <laughs> but that's really cool. Does anyone else feel like they're constantly tidying up and cleaning their kitchen? Because I feel like that's what I'm doing all of the time. All of the time. My hips are giving me so much pain when I'm standing up for a little while, so I kind of just need to rest and support my back and my hips and my pelvis while I'm working. So that's why we have this situation. <laughs> There we go. So let's try it. Let's try to dissolve these in hot water. so cool it's all gone and the cornstarch kind of makes our kitchen smell like popcorn <laughs> so that's um kind of funny but yeah that was fun it was in the name of science i'm not sure if environmentally using that much of hot water is the best choice but we had to try in the name of science we had to 
I really need to get around to filming that tutorial now, but I'm also really hungry and I need to really be mindful about listening to my body when it comes to food and nutrition these days. So I'm gonna make myself some lunch. So I've made myself some lunch. I have a couple of slices of bread with some veggie spread, glass of chocolate soy milk, and some iced water. I'm gonna eat that, answer a few emails, just get a little bit of work done. Then let's see if we have time to film that tutorial. <laughs> I just, I'm making coffee now. Uh, I was just getting ready to start filming the tutorial, but Noelle is awake. Apparently she decided to have a short nap today. How convenient. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's what it is. Um, just letting her sit a little bit in her bed and just wake up. She likes to have a few minutes to just uh, play with her stuffies and blabber a bit in bed, so. <clears throat> I'm waiting for my coffee to get done and then I'm gonna go up and get her and we're gonna make her some lunch but I do think that my belly has dropped don't mind all the mess I haven't tidied the living room yet but yeah it feels like my belly is lower now it feels that way and it looks that way so I think sometime last week my belly kind of dropped um, so this is the situation right now. I am 33 weeks pregnant. I'm closing in on the due date and I'm getting really anxious about it. I had a lot of anxious feelings around the birth last time around and um, didn't have like the best birthing experience. Um, I haven't really talked about Noel's birth on this channel. Um, maybe I will at some point, but yeah, so. I'm getting quite anxious about it. I'm, I've talked about it with my therapist, so we're working through it, but it's scary. I find it very scary. I, I envy the women who are like, oh, birthing is, birth is just the most wonderful thing and oh, labor and oh. I, I envy those women. I wish I could feel that way about labor and birth, but, but no. <laughs> uh, I gotta say, I'm, I'm I'm very happy that this is my last pregnancy and my last birth that I'm going through. I'm very grateful to be able to do it. It's not that. It's just that I'm not loving being pregnant, uh, just because it's it's complicated. It's um, physically complicating my life um so yeah let's let's focus on something positive instead let's go get noel
One of her least favorite things is putting on clothes. Some bread with veggie spread, cucumber, and some honeydew lemon. just realized that I called this one a dresser several times earlier today when it's really a drawer. I know that. Let's blame it on pregnancy brain or mom brain or something. Started working on a baby blanket yesterday. It's looking pretty good so far. Using this Sultan yarn by Hobie. Um, had I known that there was like a Sultan and a Sultan Deluxe where the threading is a bit different, this one, you can see all four threads and the Deluxe version, the, the threads are kind of spun so they're more like that. Wish I'd known that, would have made it a lot easier to work with, but so far it's coming along nicely. <laughs> These are some of her favorite things to play with, which are just cake toppings. <laughs> yeah. And also, update on my iron levels, which I talked about in my last vlog. I got them up from 8.9 to 9.3, so I'm in the clear. I don't need to go to the hospital hospital to to get an iron infusion, so that's good. Now I just gotta keep those levels up for the remaining weeks. What are you doing? <laughs>
Upstairs, getting her to bed, brushing her teeth, and just saying good night. This is where I'm going to end this week's vlog. Um, we don't have much more plans for tonight. I think we're just going to watch a movie, and I'm going to continue on crocheting that baby blanket, which I'm hoping to get done before she arrives. <laughs> I was not quite sure if that was possible when I started the project, but seeing how quickly it actually builds up now, I think I think I might be able to do it. So yeah, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and that bell button if you haven't already. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye!